And what I'm trying to explore is, am I keeping both sides of my body engaged in the technique? So we're gonna start with time. So I'm gonna show you what I've uh, been feeling first, and then what I've been trying to explore. So what I've been feeling is, I'm gonna work on only this side of my body, and I'm, this side kind of drags. Um, and so just, and for um, Uke, feel that as well. What side of the body is active, um, maybe more active, and then is the other side, for lack of a better term, just sort of like trailing and moving. Um, you still have to maintain posture, but I feel like I'm maybe like, little. Oh, this side doesn't really do a whole lot, or isn't as involved. And so I've been trying to, can I keep track, this is like mental juggling, of both sides of my body as I do this thing. Um, it's been a lot of fun watching every, uh, all of it progress. Uh, with Marcia's uh, earlier stuff, that's what I was, uh, those were the types of techniques I was exploring this in. Can I keep both sides of my body engaged? Um, and not just my legs and hips, but my arms. Um, and then for Dwight's exercise, it really helped to have the other non-grasping hand uh, active. Uh, it was a nice like frame of reference, right? So I'm really trying to think, is my, essentially, is my whole body doing this technique? Or am I just doing using one side? So uh, just sort of try to dial in. Uh, in the beginning, if you're not uh, picking anything up, really exaggerate the front movement and see how it feels. And then start exploring that. We'll just do 10 kind of 